Okay, so in our previous video, we went and created this kind of like services section. And you can see over here on the background of the section, I've gone and added in a bit of a yellow overlay just to add a little bit of variation because it was looking a bit flat. What we're now going to do is add in a team section. But rather than starting from scratch, I'm actually going to reuse this section get rid of the icon box, and I'm then gonna replace it with a team uh, box basically that you get in Bricks. But let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Over here, I am going to first just minimize all of my sections. You can see they're all nicely labeled so I know what they are. I'm gonna pick up the services one and I'm now gonna duplicate it. So now we have two. I'm gonna pick one of them up and I'm now gonna drop it below the review ones. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna get rid of all of the blocks at the moment, okay? So I'm gonna go do it, do it, do it. I had a change in mind. I was gonna leave the blocks, but then I remembered the team, sec the team widget actually already gives you the number of blocks. So I don't need to do them individually as separate blocks. So I've got the team, I've got the container. If I go over here now and I go and type in team, you get the team member widget. And I'm gonna drag that in to just sit within the container like that. So you can clearly see here now, we've got a four boxes appearing up like that. The reason what I'm trying to explain is in the original services one, I had separate blocks because I was defining how it was going to look. Here, you will already get it with multiple ones in, so you don't need to add it in multiple times. If we've got a team member, um, I'm going to change this to be three at the moment. I'm going to say the gap is 50 pixels. Uh, in terms of team members, I am going to get rid of this third one here. So, sorry, the fourth one. So we only have three. We're going to leave the image size as it is. I mean, you can modify it if you want to have like the horizontal effect or if you want to have more of a portrait like that. Sorry, not the portrait, the less condensed rectangle. We're gonna go for a square approach. I'm gonna leave all of this as it is. And in terms of the content, I will be adding in some padding. 20 on the right, and we will go with a 40 on the bottom like that. I'm gonna leave the text align as it is like that. I'm gonna go over to the title typography. Again, this is now where you're just gonna start doing your styling. I'm gonna say, make that be in the center like that. One other thing you might wanna consider though, is that is if you were gonna be reusing the team members on a Another page, you'd probably want to go up here and give it a class name like this. I mean, we'll do it now anyway. We'll call it team members. We'll hit save. So now anything we do here to this part of it, all of these settings we're doing would be applied across the board. Because I'm only doing it here, I'm not overly fussed because I don't have to duplicate. It's just one widget, right? But if you were going to do it on multiple pages, I would probably do all your settings down here now. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to remove the padding from the content because I'm going to add it in separately and you'll see what I mean in a moment, okay? So we've got all of our details there. Well, that is fine. Now we go to the team members. If I go to the very first one, uh, we've got this image over here and it's, it's kind of not even in line, is it? Anything like that. We've got the context. What you would obviously do is change the name, change the title, change your, you know, your comments, whatever you want to put in here, right? You can, you can do all of that. I'm just going to go here and change the image firstly. And I've got some example ones. Let's just pop this person in here. So if we now view that, we've got the same kind of similar branding there with the whole yellow colors going on. So it kind of ties things in nicely together. You got your details, et cetera, et cetera. But the padding here, there is none because I took it away. But why did I do that? because I wanted to add in something a little bit extra. What I do is gonna create a problem, okay? So whatever I'm doing right now, I'm just showing you, this is how you could do it, but if you wanna go a little bit extra, you're gonna have to think a little bit out the box. I wanna add in a icon list, okay? Which has got their social sharing icons, but I want it in there per person, right? So I'm gonna get my icon list, and look, if I now pop it at the bottom here, well, here's the first problem. This is easy to sort out. Let's go to container. We make sure that this is now on the wrap functionality. And there we go. Now you might look at this and go, well, that's okay, isn't it? Because we've now got our three icons there. Now, the problem you're gonna have though, is that let's say I go and create these icons, okay? And by the way, what I'm gonna do is get rid of the wording. I'm going to go in, I'm going to go over here to the icon list and get rid of the wording. I'm going to add a little bit of spacing in between each of them like that and keep it pretty simple. I'm not changing the colors or anything like that. That you can easily do when you go over to, you know, each one of these and you could change your colors. Look, I could change this now to be a, a bit of a different blue there for Twitter. We'll just do that for now. 
But what if I now wanna have that for every single person? Well, if I now start to duplicate these like that, okay, and you can see what's going on here at the moment. Let me duplicate it again. It, in some ways, it almost works. It almost works. And if I go to the container and I change this to be a space around, you're gonna look at that and go, yeah, okay, that kind of works, right? It kind of works. But the background isn't matching over here. It's not white. Yeah, we got a different color here. You could start to tinker and mess around a lot with this, with margins and whatever, and you could make it work for you. But it's going to be far better for you to not do it this way. And here's the way I would recommend you do it. I am now going to go over to team member one, and I'm now going to get rid of those two members. So we just have one member to my layout, I'm gonna say only show one column and I'm gonna say zero, well, there's no gap basically, right? There's no gap, we just have one person. And this is the point now when you do wanna create a team style. Now this is where you may need to go back over some of the settings. So team members, we have one. The layout, we're gonna have one. There is no style, there is no border. We have the image, it is square. Um, there's nothing really to worry about there. Just double check the layout, that's all fine. Go to content. Does there need to be any padding or anything like that? I would say put that all back in because if you don't do it in, when you copy the style over or you reuse the style, it might not work for you. Now at the moment, all of this sits within the container. What I actually need it to do is sit within a block. This is almost going back to how we did the um, services section before. So I'm gonna go over here now and I'm gonna click block. And I'm not gonna pick that block and pop it in over there. Into the block, I'm gonna drop in the team members and the icon list like that. Now I'm gonna make my entire block be a background white color like this. Can you see what's going on here? Now I'm gonna to go to my icon list and I'm gonna say, you know what? Give me about uh, 30 from the top, or even 20 even, 20's fine. No, 30, <laughs> let's go with 30, okay? Go to style, we scroll down until we get to align the self. It's very easy for you to sort of do stuff like this and go, it's not moving, don't worry, you'll get used to it. I'm gonna click that and it's now in the center. Now we have a block like this. However, this block, okay, I now wanna make sure it is no more than 300 pixels in width. Look at what's going on here. In fact, I do need to give this block a little bit of padding. I've just realized, because that's right at the bottom, so I'm gonna give it about uh, 40, no, 30, 40 is too big. There you go, 30 at the bottom like that. That is 300 pixels wide. Let me now duplicate that pixel. Duplicate, and we're gonna duplicate it again. I'm gonna go back to my container. I'm gonna to go to the content and I am gonna say space between. We're now back to having my 50 pixels in the middle there and it's all aligning perfectly. I've gone in and changed the details. When we save it and view it, we now have a slightly more bespoke looking feature. We're using the team member widget. We've got them nicely aligned. That didn't take too long. And I've gone and put a social sharing icon at the bottom. And you could obviously, you know, you would probably change the colors of these to be more in line with your color scheme like this. <laughs> okay. So that kind of like starts to fit in with your branding a whole lot more. But that's all good and well. What about the mobile? And again, like I said in the previous video, before you start to duplicate the blocks, it's always a good idea to go in Go down to your very first one down here and then just make sure the sizes are correct. So if I go over here to the style for this block and go to layout, I'm gonna say make it be 100%. And I'm also just gonna, well, I might as well just copy the style and I'm just gonna paste the style over here and paste style onto that block as well. So it's all nicely spaced out. Go to the middle block, go to the layout, and I'm gonna say give me 40 at the top and 40 at the bottom. And because we reused the section and container from before, it's maintained the padding and the sizing on the left and right that we had there before, okay? So we're now getting our team in place. Of course, you don't have to have it this big. You could have made it 50%. You could have had more padding on the left and right-hand side. But in a quick nutshell, we have our team section. And we've used a section container, three blocks, 
I didn't have to use the blocks. I only used the blocks because I wanted to add in this feature over here. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.